Hi, I'm the hydroponics guy. Today I'm going to show you the advantages of growing amaryllis bulbs in our hydroponic system. Amaryllis bulbs are pretty easy to grow. Technically all you do is you plant them, put them in a sunny window, water them, and in six to eight weeks you'll have flowers. But the trick about it is, is that you, the water, you have to get the watering just right. You don't want to have them too wet or the bulb will rot. If you don't give them enough water, uh, the bulbs uh, dehydrate and you don't get the big beautiful flowers. With our hydroponic system, we have two big advantages in growing over soil. And that is number one is the clay pebbles that we use. They're a sterile ceramic, they never rot, decompose, or decay. So they're perfect for growing these bulbs. And then secondly, our system has a water gauge, so it tells you exactly how much to water. And in fact, what happens is, is that when you water, you're technically really not watering the plant. You're just pouring water over the pebbles. It passes through the pebbles, and then these pebbles wick the moisture up to the plant, or in this case, the bulb, gently and evenly while you're going about your busy life, and uh, the plant gets exactly what it needs, air and water at the roots to grow. Big advantage, and with our system, You'll be watering once every three or four weeks. Uh, the plants practically take care of themselves. So let's uh, plant up a couple of bulbs. So the pot sizes that I've chosen today is the seven inch regular planter and the six inch tall. Now these planters might seem a little bit large for this bulb, but I do this for stability because this plant is going to grow about this tall in either of these pots and it needs stability because it's going to have two or three stalks, each going to have two or three flowers. So it's quite a flower display and uh, you want to have good stability at the base. And so planting these, very easy. You take the culture pot and, and I filled it with clay pebbles just up to the dome. So I've got about that many clay pebbles in the bottom of this pot. And of course, I've soaked these pebbles overnight so they're saturated. Then, I take the bulb, we'll use this one, I take the bulb, put it down on the dome in the pot. And with hydroponics, I plant a little bit deeper for stability and there's no danger of the bulb rotting because like I said, air passes through the pebbles. And then it's just a matter of holding the bulb in place, pouring the pebbles, around the bulb. Now this is an important part. I use my trusty dowel and I pack these pebbles down so the bulb has good stability. The pebbles that we use are irregular shape and they vary in size and that really locks the bulb in quite well. Then I just fill it up with pebbles and I'm planting a little bit deeper if you uh, read what the soil people say, you're supposed to have a third of the bulb exposed above the soil line. Well, I plant it almost totally buried because the top layer of stones are going to be dry the whole time anyhow. So that's how I plant it for good stability. That's the seven inch planter. There you are. Now for the six inch tall, what I've done here is I've already put pebbles in and I'm, my pebbles are up about this high in this pot and that's the exact height I want to set my bulb. And so again, same process, I just put the bulb in the pot, pour the pebbles around the bulb, packing it down with my dowel for stability. Ah, this locks in real well. And there we go with that one. A few more pebbles. And there you are. It's that easy. So, there are my two amaryllis bulbs, one in a 7-inch regular planter and one in a 6-inch tall planter. Okay, let's talk about plant care with your hydroponic amaryllis bulbs. Number one is amaryllis needs sun to grow. So I put these, uh, these plants in a sunny window where it gets at least two to three hours of uh, direct sunlight. Number two is for watering, amaryllis do not like wet feet. And when growing in soil, that's a real guessing game. It's really easy to overwater these, or uh, the other hand is you don't water them enough and then they dehydrate and the flowers don't look like they should. We solve that with our hydroponic system because we have a water gauge. And so 
watering here can be accurate every time. So I like to water in two different phases. The first phase is this, the bulb is dormant now or it's asleep and to wake it up, I give it just a little bit of water. So I pour water over the pebbles until the little red indicator on the gauge just moves a little bit and that's it. That's all the water I give it. Now I'll wait a week, sometimes maybe two weeks until the leaves start to emerge from the bulb. When the leaves start to emerge from the bulb, then I speed up my watering as I've done here and I pour water over the pebbles until the water gauge reaches a half on the gauge. While I'm going about my busy life, these Lekka pebbles are wicking that moisture up to the plant gently and evenly and at the same time air is passing through the pebbles so it's a perfect growing environment uh, for the roots. And the thing is, is that, that you need to have the courage to let this thing dry out totally, completely before you rewater it so those roots get air. Uh, and that could be three weeks, sometimes it's even four weeks. So this is where the plants actually take care of themselves because the Lekka pebbles are wicking the moisture up to the roots. And when you get a good even balance of moisture and air at the roots, this is the kind of root system that you'll grow uh, on an amaryllis bulb. And I've never seen roots like this with soil, growing amaryllis in soil. So um, a hydroponic system is a perfect, perfect way to grow amaryllis. Flower stalk will emerge from the, from, the, uh, from the top of the bulb here. And in about six to eight weeks, we'll get blooms. When we get blooms, then I would move it away from the sun because cool temperatures away from the sun will prolong the flowers and uh, they will continue to flower for three or another three or four or five, sometimes six weeks um, before the blooming is done. The other thing about plant care is that you don't need to put nutrients or fertilizer in here at all. Mother Nature has packed everything into this bulb that this bulb needs to grow uh, big, beautiful blooms. Now, if you want to add nutrients, you can possibly add a bloom food, but I would do it only at half strength. And again, technically speaking, uh, I don't think you really need it. So all the materials that we're using today uh, for our amaryllis are available at the store on our website. That's www.easygrowhydro-store.com. And there's no W on grow. So there you are, hydroponic amaryllis.